So you're looking through your pocket change and you came across a bunch of nickel coins and you're not sure exactly how much they're worth. In this video, we're going to go over five nickels that sold for a crazy amount of money. We're going to go over exactly what you need to be looking out for to make sure you don't miss any nickels that you could potentially have worth a lot of money. So let's just jump right into this video. This is a 1939 five cent Jefferson nickel with the reverse of a 1940. Now this is a coin I go over a good amount on my channel, but whenever you have coins that look like this, you know, you want to look at the front of the coin. If your 1939 Jefferson nickel looks like this and the back looks like this, then you have one of these 1939 coins with the reverse of a 1940, and that's going to increase the value significantly. This coin sold for $1,500. The main reasons being it also graded at the NGC Mint State 68 plus. That's only two points away from the perfect grade of 70. In combination with the fact that it's a 1939 coin with the reverse of a 1940, those two things combined made it sell for this much money. But up next, we have a 1963 five cent Jefferson nickel. This one graded as a PCGS Mint State 67. This coin also has the full steps on the back. Now, what do I mean by that? If you look above Monticello there, you will notice there are steps. Those steps there are the highest point on the coin. They get worn down the quickest and also during the minting process, it is hard to strike that area clearly. This is important because collectors look for this area when they're trying to buy a coin and add to their collection. They want to make sure those full steps are there. If the grading company will designate the FS, as you see on the label there, FS meaning full steps, that will increase the value dramatically. This coin sold for $3,600. Here we have a 1964 D 5 cent Jefferson nickel. This one graded by PCGS and Mint State is 66. It sold for $3,840. Now this one was graded at a proof like with the full steps on the back. That means this coin is not proof, but it's incredibly shiny, just like a proof coin typically comes. If your coin is proof like, that's going to be worth more money. And that's why this coin sold for so much money. This coin is incredibly toned. It has a lot of rainbow toning happening there. This is a 1938 five cent Jefferson nickel graded at a proof 68 by PCGS. And because it graded so highly, it's a proof coin and it has that rainbow toning. It sold for $4,560. All right, grab your loops and magnification. This coin sold for $32,900. And this is exactly why. This is a 1949 D over S five cent Jefferson nickel graded at a PCGS mint state 67 with the full steps on the back. So a lot of things going here. First of all, this graded really, really highly at the 67 grade. Just to put things into perspective, if you send your coins off to get graded, first of all, make sure it's worth it because it's hard to get this high of a grade, but it definitely is possible. Next, this has the D over S mint mark. You're going to see that on the back right hand side of the coin. You will see that D mint mark. If you take a loop or magnification glass, you will notice that that D is not struck clearly because there is a D over S mint mark in that area. Also on the back center above Monticello there, you'll notice the full steps. The full steps will increase the value of the coin relatively significantly. And that's why this coin sold for $32,900. Hit that subscribe button. It really does help out with the YouTube algorithm. Stay tuned for more and I'll see you in the next video.